Good morning, Moss Warriors. Today is Monday, January 30th, 2023, and today is National Bubble Wrap Day. National Bubble Wrap Day recognizes a fascinating piece of invention. Bubble Wrap's primary purpose is to protect fragile items either in shipping or storage. Of course, people also take enjoyment from popping the bubbles in Bubble Wrap too. However, when two engineers created Bubble Wrap, the uses packaging didn't pop into their minds right away. Mark Chavanaugh and Albert Fielding first sealed two shower curtains together in 1956 in the town of Hawthorne, New Jersey. This technique created a smattering of air bubbles. The two engineers initially thought their creation would make a great wallpaper. However, sales for the wallpaper never materialized, so Chavanaugh and Fielding moved to sell the product as greenhouse insulation. The product was originally named AirCap and produced by the Sealed Air Corporation, which was founded in 1960. In 1961, the product evolved into the bubble wrap we know today when it protected IBM's 1401 computer when it started shipping. Sealed Air Corporation trademarked bubble wrap and has been filling shipment needs ever since. Now, will already please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As a Mossville warrior, I pledge to do my best today and be the best I can be. At Mossville School, I am respectful, responsible, and safe. This is the Warrior Way. Our SEL focus for the week is integrity. We'll be looking for students that keep their word. And as the saying goes, your word is your honor. Now for daily reminders with Officer Pickles. When I make sure you kids bring your lunch card every day and avoid them zeros. If not, we're going to have consequences. So don't mess with Sergeant Pickles. Pickles? OMG! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We do not have any birthdays today. Congratulations to our attendance winners. In 5th and 6th grade, we have Mrs. Hepper and Mrs. Holmes. They had the best attendance with 96.84% attendance. In 7th and 8th grade, we have Miss Fox class winning. Her homeroom had 95.79% attendance. Congratulations to those three classes. Team results, the 8th grade boys basketball team lost to Illini Bluffs in the regional quarterfinal on Saturday. Congratulations on a good season, Warriors. Congratulations to the 7th grade volleyball team for finishing second place and earning a trophy in the Prue Parkside Tournament on Saturday. The 7th grade finished the day with two wins and one loss. The 8th grade finished the day with two wins and one loss as well, taking third place. Way to go, Warriors. Student recognition. Congratulations to Aubrey Doty for receiving a bronze medal in the 2023 Special Olympics Individual Skills Basketball Competition at ICC last weekend. Way to go, Warrior. This day in history, on this day in 1850, the burned U.S. Library of Congress was reestablished with Thomas Jefferson's 6,500 volumes of books. Activities today, we've got volleyball practice at 3.30. Hot lunch today, we've got cheeseburger, yogurt boat, sun butter and jelly. Our sides are corn and fresh broccoli and fresh orange or diced peaches. And remember, it's a great day to be a warrior.